Hi guys. Um, I was just looking for my notebook. I I am um, I went to Alpha weekend. Um, left left my notepad, so I was really gutted. And then I went to church this morning, and this Robert just walked up to me and went, "Have you lost a pad?" And I was like. Yes, I have. <laughs> anyway, so there's just a few notes that I've written down that I just, I just want to just say the notes um, because that's what I took from, took from it, and they touched me um, personally. Um, so the first, because it was about the Holy Spirit, um, very complex and crazy. Um, but the first one is um, this woman. She worked in Hong Kong for years with prostitutes and um, drug addicts. And um, she says, um, you need a broken heart for it to become soft um, and hard feet to keep going. Um, and I totally understood that because... Um, when I found God, I was probably at my most, <sighs> nothing, like nothing else could, that's what, what I thought, I was like, I literally, I said to him, it's like I just said, you know what, I'm out of here, I'm tapping out, I can't do this no more, you take the reins and I'll just go wherever you lead me, um, and so yeah, I, my heart was essentially, it was broken. There was there was nothing more that could be done to it. Um, I'd lost all hope, totally hopeless, drained emotionally, physically, mentally, just completely drained. It's just it was just like what's next? Where am I getting the energy from? I can't do this, um, and I was just like, you know what? Forget it. You deal with it. Um, so yeah, I do that part. I really resonate with, because, and then the the hard feet is that once you find God, and your heart's soft, and you're like, oh my God, I love everyone. Um, then you've got to deal with everybody else because as soon as you mention, you know, I'm going to church now, you know, all this. The first thing you get giggles, you get covered the mouth. You're like. You know, they just look at you like, oh, my God, you know. Um, and a lot of people have said, like, I'll tell them, like, you know, um, they've said you would be the last person I'd think would get to a church. And, and I've said, well, you know, I'm totally different now. And and someone asked me today, um, what is it? She said, what is it? What what What's done? I said, nothing. They're like, but you, you you seem different. And I'm like, my heart's soft and my feet have got to stay hard for everyone that is against and they don't even understand. If they could say, I've read the Bible front to back and I disagree, then we'd have a conversation. But like I say, it's something that I've got to get used to, I suppose. And I think that's what the hard feet means. You've got to. It's good. You got to carry on, um, loving even through the hard times, through grief and, you know. So yeah, that's one of them. Um, not that one. Oh, this one. Um, be bold in sharing the joy. Um, that's one that I'm like. Yeah, and then just to slip from that, um, joy is not happiness, okay? Because that that's the that's the difficult part. Joy isn't happiness. Joy is joy. Do you know? Um, I mean, would I say I was happy right now? I'm not happy. The situation I'm in. I'm not happy about my health. I'm not happy about my children's health. I'm not happy about my children's education. I'm not happy about everything. But I can feel joy. I can put a song on. I can go in the garden. I can hear birds sing and look at the trees and, and have joy. 
So joy is not happiness, okay? And then peace. Joy and peace. Peace. I'll write down here in the middle of the crazy. Because, you know, we all have our own day-to-day -day battles. Um, just getting out of bed, you know, for some people is a battle. And sometimes we don't win. We don't get out of bed. But peace in the middle of the crazy. We'll have crazy, crazy, crazy. And then a bit of peace. Not going to have peace all the time. Um... But it's finding the peace and it's finding the joy in the day. And I think that's what, that's what finding God has done for me. Oh, and here, another one, another one, yeah. Believe in under, to understand. Believe in order to understand. Because some people will say, I don't understand. I don't understand. I'll be reading the Bible and I'll just be like, woo! And especially because I'm dyslexic and dyspraxia, I don't know if I don't understand it just because I don't understand it or because, dude, these must have been, like, on a lot of wine. I don't know. But I do know I don't understand it. Um, but that's what's so good about having the Christian community because you can't, you don't just speak to one person. That's them, you know. Um, the one time it was about forgiveness. Forgiveness, so annoying. Hate forgiveness it's so annoying it's just hard it's so hard and the one day I asked like 10 people their opinion on my circumstance around the forgiveness and they all gave me um a different answer but it was all about it was all the same and I pieced it together in my own way um and by the end of the day after asking everyone that I literally walked into in church and Sunday school. Um, yeah, again, it, it comes to the fact of I'm not perfect. I'm not just going to be able to just forgive. You know, my body, my brain, my memory is always going to remember that. But my spirit can keep saying, Lord, I want to forgive. Give me the strength to forgive. And anything else, can you just help me? And then I realised it was that. I don't need to be perfect. I don't need to forgive. Just wanting to forgive and praying to forgive at the minute for me being a new christian that's enough for me and i think that's enough for god as well so believe in order to understand i don't need to understand everything but i do know that i'm i'm, I'm at peace with anything that's happening because i know i'm out, i'm not in control and since i realized i'm not in control whatever's going to happen is already is already in motion there's nothing i can do to control it so I'm just enjoying the enjoying the ride, relaxing. Because whatever's gonna come, it's gonna come. And I've just got, like I said, I've got to that space where I'm just like, you know, you take it, you know, just just guide me. Wherever we're going, I'm I'm coming with you. I'm 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 on for the ride. And yeah, so just wanted to give you those notes. Um I'm not gonna tell you the questions I asked, um, because I asked some pretty deep questions when I'm at this alpha course. Honestly, it's yeah, <laughs> it's just like, I'm like, oh my god, why is she asking me these questions? Anyway, I'm going to go, oh, there she is, my little beautiful princess. Okay, um, bye guys, uh, I'm not doing the prayer thing today, I'm still, uh, I'm still getting there. Okay, bye, God bless you, bye.